Now I request Professor Prasad Dado to address the gathering. Sir, over to you, sir. I bring you greetings on the occasion of International Day of Peace. 21st September, today is International Day of Peace. Uh, all over the world, uh, this is being celebrated. And United Nations has given the theme, End the Racism, to build peace. Because this world has seen enormous amount of uh, discrimination making a lot of people disadvantaged in the process. And it is a huge amount of human cost. So this happened in India, in America, in every part of the world. The simplest principle is that all human beings are equal. We are all equal by birth. But Keeping a high and a low among the people is, in fact, very inhuman. Because I have not chosen my birth. And none of us have chosen our parents. So if I am born as a man, it was by chance. If somebody is born as a woman, it is by chance. If you are born as an American, it is by chance. If I am born here as a Telugu person, it is by chance. So what happened out of a chance, if you attribute that to me and you decide the high and low of me, I think it is unfair. So the Gandhian principle of Sarvodaya, or the welfare of all, or the equality of all, is a fundamental principle that everybody has to take. And the moment I say, I am superior to you, you cannot convince anybody in this world that he will be inferior to you. You can never convince anybody. Therefore, the essential principle is that all human beings are equal, with equal respect, equal opportunity, and only when we take forward this message, there will be peace. And when we talk about peace, People do talk about peace in terms of absence of war. I am making war because I want to create peace. I am not convinced about that. So we are not talking about the peace created by war. We are not talking about the graveyard peace. There is a lot of peace in the graveyard. We are not talking about that. We are talking the promotional, positive peace where there is some total of human happiness, some total of human respect. So we talk about the happiness of the individual, the peace of the individual, the inner peace, the peace in the family, in the society, in the whole world, peace in the subhuman world, the animal world, the birds, all the living mechanisms they should be in peace. Even the non-living must have peace. The rocks, the oceans, the air, do we have any right to pollute them? In fact, Hyderabad has got beautiful rock structures all around, but today they're all gone. We destroyed that. They can never come back. So, when so many young people are here, I think we should look for are we personification of peace? Do I have peace within? Or am I a person of violence? Am I a person of non-violence internally? So there is a violence in the food we eat. There is violence in the clothes we wear. There is violence in the articles we use. And to children we give them toys. What toys? Machine guns, tanks, all the toys that you see with these children, they're all toys of violence. They depict violence. And there is violence in our thoughts, violence in our words. We use very harsh language. We insult people. Then there is also violence in our action. 
through violence in thoughts, words, and deeds, then if we are personification of violence, how can we create a non-violent world? How can we create a peaceful world? This is the new question. Therefore, educational institutions should look for creating peace as a process, as part of the education system. Now, today we are celebrating this, and uh, I'm so happy to begin this program with Osmani University. I'm extremely grateful to the Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor B. Ravindar Garu, for giving us this opportunity. And I thank our uh, Honorable uh, Principal of the College of Arts and uh, Social Sciences, uh, Professor C.H. Ganesh Garu, and the entire the fraternity of uh, the uh, Osmani University. Some 30 years ago, this building, Arts College, was my adda. <laughs> I used to, Robert, most of them I used to spend here with the Department of Commerce with Professor J. Satyananga. They all used to spend time here. I was part of the research forum here. So it was a wonderful uh, kind of opportunity. Now, I, as I stand before you, I remind, remember all those great days of our enjoyment and uh, our togetherness with this Arts College and Osman University. Coming to Dr. Christian Waltroff, he is from Germany. He lives in Berlin. And he is one of the outstanding scholars of uh, philosophy and a scholar of Gandhian thought. He did enormous research. He studied very deeply Count Leo Tolstoy. Tolstoy is one person whose influence on Gandhi was very profound. Gandhi picked up different concepts from different people, both from the West and the East. And then he synthesized. So he declared, whatever I am talking, whatever philosophy I am talking about, whatever values I am talking about, they are mine because I want to follow them. They are also not mine because I inherited them from so many scholars and learned people. So from Tolstoy, Gandhi picked up the concept of voluntary poverty. I want to live in poverty so that others also will share the sustenance. And if everybody wants greed and they want to extract the maximum amount of wealth out of the world for themselves, there will be definitely poverty. In fact, I want to ask you all one question. Is there any person in this world, is there any person in the world who says, I want to remain poor? Yes? Nobody says that. Everybody wants to be rich, but more than 50% of the world population is reeling under abject poverty. Why? Because there is a system which has a vested interest in keeping large number of population under that kind of poverty situations. So that poverty is a threat to peace everywhere. Therefore, our consciousness should be to work on the global peace, starting with the individual peace. So Gandhi picked up that kind of a concept from uh, voluntary poverty and bread labor from Tolstoy. From John Ruskin, he picked up the idea of welfare of all. The good of an individual is contained in the good of all. That is what is, he has picked up from John Ruskin. So Christian Waltoff studied those influences on Gandhi very deeply. You cannot understand Gandhi unless you understand the influences on him. And here we have Dr. Rahul Kumar Gaur, another great scholar, a distinguished scholar in Gandhian philosophy, has done a lot of intensive study. Maybe we will ask him to speak for some five minutes or something like that. But that will not suffice. What I request of Professor Ganesh Gaur is that, taking this as an opportunity that we are all together, Maybe in due course of time, we can do quite some activity, academic activity, involving the students. And I also should recognize our uh, Professor Vishnu Garu, another uh, very distinguished person for me. He has left an indelible impression on me, and he also, together with him, 
I think we reached about 50,000 students across the Telangana. That credit goes to uh, Professor Dr. Vishnudev. At that time, he was there a few years ago, he was the uh, state NSS liaison officer. The government of Telangana, he used to uh, take programs to various universities and we all, Dr. Kumar Garu, myself, we used to go and do the programs. We would like to offer our ourselves to Professor uh, Ganesh Garu and the team here, if we can start some kind of a studies. It can be as peace studies or studies in non-violence. We can study so many great philosophers who ever talked about equality in the society. Peace in the society, we have to study all, not just Gandhi. We may study Gandhi as one of the scholars, one of the great influences, but there are many, many people who are uh, uh, influenced, who influence. So I was uh, talking more to fit the time gap. Now that our main speaker, uh, Dr. Christian Voltov, has come, I would like to hand over the mic to the the people like uh, Professor Lavanya, Madam, and also Professor uh, Ganesh Gar. And only one point I want to mention here in the leave. Mm -hmm. So we planned, Gandhi King Foundation planned this activity that is uh, 21st September, International Day of Peace, to 2nd October, International Day of Nonviolence. So it should be something like a week or 10 days program we planned. And invited uh, Dr. Christian Baltov. But then what happened, there had been so many emails and so many phone calls saying that uh, bring him to our university, to our place like that. So what was supposed to be between 21st September to 2nd of October, now it is going to be up to 15th of October. So 25 days time he was able to give to us and I am extremely grateful to him for that. And this long program is beginning today from Osman University that gives me enormous happiness. My joy becomes enormous because we are inaugurating a long series and there will be about 20 universities participating in the program. Tomorrow it is going to be Andhra University, SV University, Tirupati, Padmavati University, Jawaharlal Nehru University, Delhi, then Rajiv Gandhi University in Arunachal Pradesh, all the way we are going to the Northeast, we are going to Meghalaya, we are going to Gujarat, we are going to Delhi, then we are going to uh, Aurangabad, uh, Mahatma Gandhi Memorial University in Aurangabad. So about 20 universities and major educational institutions are participating where Dr. Christian Botov is uh, going to address. Only thing I feel sorry about is today we brought him directly from the airport without giving him any food, not even coffee or anything like that. So I request uh, Professor Ganesh Gar, maybe some biscuits, maybe some coffee. They will take care of that. See, sometimes what happens is I too go without food. There are programs like this. We miss. Doesn't matter. So I'm so happy to be here. And uh, Professor Dr. Uh, uh, Murthy Takigaru, a uh, member from the Gandhi King Foundation, is here. Dr. Kranti Garu, she is a founder of this uh, organization. She is here. Then uh, we're getting uh, Dr. Uh, Murlidhar Garu. Uh, he's from Vanaparthi, he's also on the way. So I'm so happy to start this and I would like to recognize Meghana here. And also Brahmarasi Madam. Brahmarasi Madam is from uh, St. Anne's College. St. Anne's College. St. Anne's College for Women, Mahini Patan. And we have done a number of programs in that uh, college and we are going to address one meeting there also. And the important uh, thing that I want to announce here about Meghana she is a student of uh, BA second year journalism. So you are student journalism, and uh, and uh, she went to uh, she represented India and uh, uh, attended a program in uh, Uruguay, South America, as a guest of UNESCO. So it was a national competition. So many universities participated. Students from graduation, post graduation, and doctoral students participated in the Continental Committee of five Vice Chancellors, not from uh, Telangana, Antra, but from all of the country, five Vice Chancellors. They selected a panel, and this panel we submitted to the, the permanent secretary of the World Summit of Nobel Peace Laureates. They selected Myanmar. That is a very, very unique thing. We are uh, 
very proud about Sir Mehta. We are so happy that she is here. And earlier, we have sent eight students to South Africa in another program. That is, this effort is not just to talk about Gandhi, peace, non-violence, but what is important is how do you build the profiles of the students? How do you build their attitudes? How do you make them as an individual? How do you make them a, a good human being and a good citizen? So this is about the efforts of Gandhi King Foundation. And I may also announce here that we'll be organizing a Gandhi Mandela King Conference on 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th June 2023. And we want to have at least 100 young people from all over the world. Maybe a selfish person like me, I want at least 20 out of 100, 25 should be from India. Out of 25, maybe 10 should be from Hyderabad. And maybe out of that 10, 10 uh, 5 should be from Osman first. <laughs> so I would like uh, to uh, see that our professor sitting here, if we all can start working on that, the process selective. We'd like to raise some money here and there. You know, what the kind of cloth I'm wearing, you see what it is? I can just live like this. And go around, I get money. Easy, you can't do that. <laughs> so we like to do that. And this is how we, we are responsible. We are responsible for our young students, young people. We'll work for them and we'll definitely create a peaceful world. With this, I just thank you very much for this wonderful opportunity given to us by Osman University, especially Professor Ganesh Garu and uh, Professor Ravindriya, our Honorable Vice Chancellor. Thank you.